Hey guys, how's it going today? It's Captain Energy. So if you haven't heard yet, Reason Studios has announced Reason 12 is finally coming. And they're talking about a September release. So I just wanted to give you my thoughts. And uh, I am on the beta team. Uh, I'm one of, or one of the, I'm not on the beta team per se. I guess I'm one of the beta testers. I'm one of the voluntary beta testers. Um, and uh, you can also be one if you're interested. I'll put the link down below. Uh, you can subscribe to try out right now. We're testing out the uh, the Zoom feature uh, and scaling, and uh, there'll be other features to test out as we go along. Uh, I can't specifically talk about the features as far as I can't show you them and I can't uh, tell you what I think of them yet, um, but I will tell you that it's, it's pretty exciting stuff. I'm really looking forward to this next version of Reason um, for a couple of reasons. One, as I get older, um, I need uh, things to be a little bigger on the screen. And I think that's a situation for a lot of Reason users. For anyone who's been in since the beginning of the game, uh, it's been a while. We've gotten older, our eyes have gotten, gotten older. We're buying bigger screens with higher resolutions, but we're not able to see things because they don't scale. So it's important for Reason as a company to take into account that their user base is growing you know, older and that uh, allowing us to scale our, our content, our screen content, is going to be important. Um, also, clarity is going to be important. And But at the same time, we need to keep in mind that making it scalable is important. Also, because if you're younger, I know when I was younger, I'd shrink everything down to like teeny because I'd want to get as much space as I could get on my screen. So they need to account for a big uh, user uh, basically a requirement type thing as far as some want more on the screen and want it small. Some people want to be able to see what they're actually touching and, and moving. So uh, for that's a, a win as far as I'm concerned that they're actually taking into account and making that work. Uh, from what I understand, it's going to work with uh, across devices, uh, not just reason devices. So that will be good. We'll hopefully see some real improvements there. Um, couple other things that they're saying we're going to get is a creative sampler, which I'm like, yay, that's awesome, because I would love to have a really good creative sampler in, in Reason built right in, uh, really integrated with the operating system, well, with the environment, not the operating system, but with the environment. That would be awesome, because right now, I mean, I'm using other solutions uh, for my creative sampling needs. I've been using the NN19 or the NN19 um, NNXT. I've used pretty much everything they've given me for a sample playback already. I would really like something that I can do more with. I mean, right now I've resorted to bouncing my samples out, editing them in something like Wave Lab sometimes or something else and bringing them back in. And, you know, the audio editing capabilities built right into Reason, they're pretty good. I mean, it does some good stuff, but you can do a lot more with other tools like Audacity or Audition or Wave Lab or something else, you know, so and then bring them back in. I mean, at very the most I've gone to is to use other sampler applications. Um, but I digress. I'm really looking forward to seeing what they come up with for a creative sampling solution. I'm hoping maybe we'll have something along the lines of like, say, Andrew Huang's Flip or something like that, maybe something like you'd find in Ableton. Um, that would be great. Uh, not that I want them to copy Ableton exactly, but th that'd be neat, you know, to have some of those features. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? We also have the new Combinator. The new Combinator that they've been trying to figure out what they were going to do to and how they were going to design it. And I actually had a conversation on one of the live streams uh, with Stefan uh, about what I think would be uh, an ideal solution. And I'm really hoping that they actually went along with what I sent because uh, I actually was getting ready to send diagrams and I gave them examples. And uh, basically, if it's anything like I'm going, I'm envisioning it going to be and the path that I would like to see it follow, it's going to be amazing. Uh, I can't wait for the new Combinator. And I'm actually even hoping that they go so far as to... Um, allow you to lock it, like password lock it to some degree. So you could actually create instruments within it and possibly make them a, a resellable object, something that, 
you know, could be unlocked or whatever. You could leave it unlocked if you want the people to be able to mess with it. Um, but maybe that you'd want to uh, lock the items in there or something. It'd be nice to be able to lock it down a little bit. It would also be nice to be able to use a combinator within a combinator. And third would be my ultimate request is that combinators allow VSTs in uh, other items. Like when you're using it as a, pop, as a rack in another doll like Cubase, right now you can't use a VST in your combinator. It'd be, or you can't use it in reason at all. But if you could bring VSTs into Reason while they were part of Reason being used as a VST itself, I know that starts to get like inception-y, like a dream within a dream, but that would be pretty amazing. Um, there were other uh, things they're promising us as well. Um, I actually have a list right here. I'm just looking to be sure I got hit the ones that I was thinking about. Uh, old Combinator, improved sampling capabilities, new interface. Yeah, that's basically, that's what they're promising for Reason 12. And uh, personally, I think they're going down the right path. Uh, I mean, the DAW, I hear people say that the uh, music editing capabilities need editing and, and whatnot. And as a Reason user, I just don't see it as much, I guess. Uh, I use it all the time and I love it. I mean, it's it's one of my favorite DAWs. My top two DAWs on my Mac or PC are Reason and Cubase. Those are the two I love. Uh, Logic is nice. I mean, I'm not putting down Logic and if you love Logic, that's cool. But it's personal preference. I've been using Cubase since maybe 1993, 94, I don't remember. Since before it was VST. It was way back on the PC. It might have been version two on the PC. It's, it's been forever. Um, and uh, I don't intend to ever stop using Cubase. And I don't ever intend to stop using Reason. So regardless of what uh, anybody thinks of them, I think they're both fantastic. Um, what else is there? I guess that's pretty much it on my opinions of the whole thing or what, I, or what they're doing with the whole thing. My... I guess my opinion is I'm really looking forward to September because now I'm like, you know, oh yes. And uh, I've almost even considered, God, I don't want to do this, but I've almost even considered subscribing to Reason Plus just to get the uh, items ahead so that I could kind of review them. Um, if you would like to see me do that, just so you can get a better idea of what's going on, please subscribe, like the video, leave me a comment, let me know. I mean, I will subscribe if you guys really want me to, but uh, I don't want to spend the money on it because I already own a license. And I think that uh, really, if Reason Studios wants their uh, product reviewed, I mean, they could hook me up, you know, with a three month trial type thing of Reason Plus. That'd be great. Um, I'm actually going to pitch that to them because I would love to be able to uh, uh, show that you know, to you guys as it comes along, you know? I mean, even if they wanted to give me like a one week trial as each item was revealed, that'd be fine with me. I don't care. I mean, that'd be a little more complicated on their end, I'm sure. But but I'm just saying, if they wanted to find a way to let me try out each feature just to do a video on them and be able to recommend it, uh, that'd be fabulous. I'm totally down with that. Anyway, well, thank you for hanging out with me for a few minutes in my new living room down in the basement. Uh, we had the, the our basement renovated a little bit here. So uh, I figured you guys could use a little break from the orange, you know? Oh, hold on. Ah, never mind. All right, so you got some orange in here. But uh, <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for coming, checking out my video. I really appreciate all of you. And please like, subscribe. And uh, don't forget to leave me a comment and let me know what you think, what you hope the new Reason 12 will have. And uh, also, I mean, or Reason Plus, what Reason Plus, I guess, if you're using that. Uh, and also let me know what you would like to see that you don't think that they're taking care of, what they're not putting in there. If there are features you'd like to see, I mean, we can get behind you and try and get them, get them in for the next version, you know, or maybe still squeeze in a couple little ones if they're you know, small enough and useful enough that they can get them in in this version. It'd be neat to, you know, they have a roadmap, but uh, no one says you can't have a, uh, you know, detour on the roadmap, a slight little. So 
All right, let me know what you guys think. I'll talk to you next time.